congregation. The one that you have blessed to stand here before me today, Father. And I thank you for that, Father. Lord, I ask that you give me a word of encouragement to speak to your people. That we may run on just a little bit for our longer, Father. Help us today, Father. That we become not faint and well known. Right. Yes. Encourage us even more, Father, as we run this race to tell this dying world Jesus is away. And also, Father, we run to encourage your people not to become faint hearted. That we let them know that the, world, that, that the race is not given to the swim, but to him that endure to the end. And we thank you, Father. In the name of the Lord, I pray that you be seated. I thank you all for being here today. And man, I'm not going to try to preach on today, amen. But the Lord got to take this down on the way down here. We being sung about to do a work. Amen. And I was very hesitant in coming to visit this thing, the man, yes, and uh, kept praying about it, right. and the Lord didn't let me know, said, no, you get ready to do a work, okay. go out there and work, and I'm sending you into the field, you're going to be in the field, right. you're going to do a work, you're going to go to front, yes. Yes, preach right. to the post, inside the building, which is God's people. Yes. And preaching to those that is outside the church, which is Bible called those that know not God. Right. My brother Lincoln said, uh, when I had the tent, I sent for him. And when he had a little meat that he had on the outside, he sent for me. Yes, right. We preaching to those that know not God. Right. Mm -hmm. And when I come in a situation like this, we preach to those, we preach to the saints of God. Okay. All Amen. Right. So it is a two front thing now. Mm -hmm. Amen. And uh, the Lord was dealing with me way back in 79. I see a lot of stuff that He put in my heart to begin to come to pass. Yes, and I'm going to try to do it. The Bible said, Be faithful with a little. Uh -huh. oh, yeah. And you'll be blessed with much. It don't come quite the way we want it to come. Yeah. Oh no. And we're gonna go to the end chapter. And uh, the book of John. John the uh the gospel called the John. Pray mm -hmm. yeah. Lord, you know, he he written several books. Yeah. But there's one that is called the Gospel of John. Oh, yeah. And that's the one we're gonna look at today. The Gospel of John. And we're going to start at the last chapter in 9 verse. Okay. And the Holy Ghost said, Same, it won't be long. All right. Yeah. Well, I know this is a sad to be about that thing to do. Mm -hmm. When I was young, you said, One is born in your pocket. Mm -hmm. You got to get it out of there. Praise the Lord. Yeah. Then they found with us. I said, Dad, it might be a bad time. Mm -hmm. We run a meeting for the Lord. Mm -hmm. so we invited quite a few in there, but we thank the Lord for the one that is here. Amen. 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 Oh, yeah. Yeah, but if a man walk in the night, he stumbled because there is no light oh, in him. Yeah. Praise God. Yes. Uh, then these things said he, and I began to say unto them, I pray that I am sleeping, but I go that I may awake him out of his sleep. Mm -hmm. Praise God. Mm -hmm. And then my heart, I heard a song say, Lord, I'll go. Me. Right. Yes, sir. So that's going to be my little text today. The Lord, I'll go send me. Yes. Amen. Yes, sir. And I'm going to do like Jesus. Jesus said, 
the water with lavender, that's called lavender is asleep. Oh, yeah. Like Kevin said, we were out on the street corner. Because that's what we be, we be on the street corner. Uh, we out there trying to make them lie to work the dead. See, we preach the dead folks. See, we, we trying to work the dead. Yeah. Pray the Lord. Yes, sir. Uh, 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 they, they, uh, I learned a long time ago that there are three types of dead. Right. They are spiritual dead. Right. See, the folks, the folks in the world, they ain't spiritual dead. Right. They ain't dead. Church book is become spirit of <laughs> Pray the Lord. Yes. Spirit of the is where you are separated from God. All right. Right. Now I can't call them spirit of the dead because they ain't been born again yet. <laughs> See, if you ain't born, you ain't here yet. Right. Yes, sir. I can't call a baby that ain't been born yet dead. No. Right. Uh, the Bible says those folks out there ain't been born again. That's what he's sending us out there so that they may be born again. Jesus right. ain't that preaching doctor. I, I know the Lord was putting my heart and start with really a little different you part of man. And I said, well, what I what I'm gonna do out there to get folks out there? He put my heart. Yes, yes, they the job for God unto the Lord. All right. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, get out there and let the job for God. Right. Pray Lord. So we are there so that they may be born again. He said, to go ye therefore and preach God. Right. He that believes, he baptized. Yeah. And he that don't be there. Yeah. Right. So we are there to, to because they ain't spiritual yet, they just they ain't nowhere yet. They ain't been born yet. Yeah. Right. We church folk can become spiritual yet. Because we can let our lives have to be separated from the Spirit of God. Mm -hmm. That's the first type of, of, of being deed. Not death deed. Yeah. Right. Really, that's a fold type of deed. I'm going to talk about that for one or two while I the Lord from the mind. So we got, we got, we deal with the first Spirit of deed. Yeah. The next type of deed is memory deed. That's when your mind ain't there no more. To your mind is deep. They're supposed to get in memory deep. Right. One, you know, every now and then you meet somebody in memory deep, you can't say it again. Mm -hmm. They just ain't got shit that they can say. <laughs> you can talk to them, but they can't understand. All right. Pray for them. Right. I, 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 I have them. Yeah. Yeah. We with the Jackson, there were a lot of folks down there. And, they just weren't able to understand that reason and all that coming in, all that were gone. Yeah. And I would pray about those folks. And I said, I'm folks. So God put my heart there. So he said, he put my heart there one way. They got one thought. Mm -hmm. Either they say it all the time, have it all the time, scared all the time. All right. All right. Make them know what's going on. Mm -hmm. They can say that they had it. They go, they want to do this, you have no matter them, what's going on around them, they happen. They one way. If they say it, they always say it. Because they either crying or happy, they're doing something. They one way. They know what it is. Pray go. Yes, sir. Then they have physical need. The Bible says when the spirit leaves the body, you physically need. Now there's a fold type of deed. In the way a man and a woman, that way the white lead, in the local lead, that man is the deed. Because they separate. Yeah. When your body leads the spirit, you need. Right. Yeah. When your mind ain't working right, you need. Yeah. Pray God. Right. And you need to give to God when we got that spirit of God in us. All right. And when your wife go young, you over there. Your baby did. Mm -hmm. yes. God put that in my heart one time. Folks would come back and they said, pray that my wife and folks would come back. I didn't do it. Because this way it was. It was a lady. We went to another town and they said, I want you to pray. I ain't got no hope. Let me tell you this story. I ain't got no hope. I'm saying. I made help to my brother. I 
talked to my brother over there around the meeting in town. I was going to be like this. I need mean, somebody to say, he said, I know this guy to say. He said, that's my father. I said, okay. Mm -hmm. I talked to him. I, and I met his wife. Let me just change that and put it right. They were, they were living together. Mm -hmm. But you know, I, I ain't got nothing to do with it. I said, well, your wife, your wife. You well, know, I'm going to get preached up, not you. Pray <laughs> <laughs> well. So he, he. You know, I don't know how long they have been living together or written, you know. They make up their mind on the same. Yeah. So I read his wife at the meeting. She came too. She also sang. Mm -hmm. They came the same too. And she told me said, I want you to praise that me, my husband, get back together. Oh, yeah. And I, I said, well, I, I you know, I don't want to be you know, that kind of person. I said, well, well, blah, blah, blah. No, no, I'm trying to make it pretty clear. If a man or woman gets separated for a few months or a few years and they get with somebody else, mm -hmm. and they say, Fine, I want you to be pretty, they come back. I got to go ask God and bring up that house, that family. Mm -hmm. Think about it now. Yes, sir. I got to pray that God to break that family up. God don't break families of people. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? I tell you back, if you got a man, you want to keep it pretty good now. Don't wait till he did. Right. They were praying for his child. How many of y'all read that story now where he had this, this child by, uh, what's your name again? Bathsheba. Bathsheba. Oh, the baby was born sick. Right. They were just praying away. Mm -hmm. And when the child died, they didn't want to tell David. Uh -huh. But they know something wrong by his sin stirring around, spinning around. He said, this baby did. He said, yeah. The Bible said he got up. If they were not stone, they said, what is this? Mm -hmm. Say, hey, you and your, I like, I like you were so devastated. Mm -hmm. They said, long the child was alive, no. there was hope. Yeah. 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 Right. See, there's hope when your marriage alive. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Yeah. But once that marriage is dead, there is no more hope. Pray Lord. I want to pray for a man who gets alive. I don't know about how to pray for a dead man. Mm -hmm. Pray Lord. Don't come tell me about to go out there and raise somebody up. I ain't gonna say God ain't gonna raise them, but I don't want to look silly if God don't raise them. <laughs> <laughs> See, that's the problem. I ain't saying God won't raise them. Yes, but I ain't gonna say inside the call and say, you come back and everybody pray. How long about you gonna stand there and see the man come back? I'm gonna be in bed. I'm gonna be shamed. And somebody told you, you know, that's what you freaking doing there, y'all. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm at another church. Yes, sir. This guy was a pretty kid guy there. Pray Lord, and had two kids. Mm -hmm. And I got a big kid there. That man got that man got me and said, said, bro, I thank you. Pray Lord. Because I didn't know God don't bring with your family. God ain't gonna break with your family. Pray Lord. Jesus. I pray for my man while I'm happy. I ain't going to get me done for that man for a night with a healthy man. Pray Lord. I'm going to pray for that God keep an eye on me. While they live. <laughs> hey, wait, that's all, bro. Pray the Lord, amen. You, you pray while I go preach, you ain't going to be a different pray the Lord. Pray the Lord. But those are the types of these. But the folks out in the world, they just don't know God. And the Bible says, how can they call on him and whom they have not heard? Folks ain't heard nothing about Jesus. They may have heard something, but they might have heard the wrong thing. We got to go out there and tell the right thing. Yes, right. And the Lord put my heart in and said, You got to go on more steady. Brother, I still got to run ahead there. I'm going to hope that church folks come. But I ain't going to put no cell man. Why, man? I ain't going to put no man out there that they don't even, they don't even know about the radio. Hmm. They don't even know about the station. If they look at something, they ain't looking at that. Right. If I want to reach them, I got to get on one steady. 
Pray Lord. And that's what this what this brother be doing. He can heal the monster. Amen. Pray Lord.
And, 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 and the music man said, this hurricane will be that day. I would listen to him. I would listen to that Fox and CNN. Mm -hmm. Listen to the Weather Channel too. Mm -hmm. They don't say anybody, what are they going to do about Terry Gordon 2, 3 at the most, and they're going to blow out a few singles? Pretty long. On that Friday evening, I got on board. I heard that wind blowing through on the telegram like, Coming back home, I seen Liam, the wrong brother, crying. He said, "Why did you leave my mama?" Friend of mine said, "What called the wrong brother?" He called it and put it in. And when everybody woke up there, I think on a Sunday morning when they woke up, wow. this is what I said to myself: "Ain't nobody gonna do no pushing today." The police were couldn't work. The mayor couldn't work. Couldn't do. That was their nighttime. When God talked about it, he said, when the son of man gone, it's going to be midnight. It's going to be a terrible time, and no man can work. Oh, yeah. And he let us know we got to preach now while it's good. Don't, don't wait till chaos. 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 Don't wait till We got to do it while it's yet. Yeah. Amen. Amen. Two fronts. Short. 
He ain't got great patience. So he'll soon run and leave you alone. But one thing about it, he ain't long for, he coming back. Because when Isaac said, Satan took the Jesus, said Satan left for a while, he wasn't gone to stay. He just went to regroup. <laughs> Praise the Lord. That's all he went to regroup. <laughs> so he came back. Yeah, man. I'm getting ready to close that. So I, so I, so you know, you know, I see quite a few folks that they go. I, I can understand because you know, folks get prophesied, 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 money. Both of them money, and they teach them so much money. Pretty long, but they weren't bothered about it. But just the idea of being confronted with someone, too. We gonna have to make up our mind. We stick with Jesus. Oh yeah. Yes, sir. My father said that's why he got to you. Watching somebody else. Yeah. Still have your mind on Jesus. Mm -hmm. I won't tell the story of a kid. Mm -hmm. He said he was a young man. Yeah. Yes, sir. My father said back to this son of a I don't know who he I didn't know my father preached that with went to Chicago and talked to my mother's brother. Mm -hmm. So he was talking about his own people, he's preached, that's what he called him. They called him Pete. They, you know, they called him Pete. Peter got up here and said, he, he gets ready to go. He got there to preach on the street corner and raise him enough money to get out of the city. <laughs> 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 I didn't know this. I, I came back and I was wrong. I told him, I said, I know you. He said, yeah, he's preaching. Mm. I didn't know nothing about it. Mm. Then my mom said, yeah, Peter, yeah, he's just preaching. He said, he said, he said, he said, he went up with us. He said, he went up with us. Now he was looking at a very, very poor boy. But my father did testify. He told me that he was trying to sell his soul to the devil to get the same time. Wow. He wanted to be what they call a two-headed man. Y'all heard that? He wanted to be a two-headed man. And he said, somebody told him, you wrap the devil, you get his power. He said that big muscle man came in that room and had over there. He had to get one of his own around that big muscle man. He said, that's scary. He said, he stopped there. Pray the Lord. Thank the Lord. But let me get back to the story. My father said, and we're going to let you go home. Said, uh, I can't take this to the name now. I'm going to call his name because that was a good. And said, old Reverend was over there, and while me and I was lying with me, 